everyone. Are you looking for a simple dish that will wow your Easter Sunday guests? Well, look no further because here to show us how to make the perfect Easter lamb, please welcome the food director of Bon Appetit, Carla Lolly Music. Welcome. Thank you. And I should, I should probably say it appropriately for Cameron, Bon Appetit. Bon Appetit. Bon Appetit. Bon Appetit. Bon appetit. <laughs> so joining Cam at the counter are Shirley and Larissa. Hi. This is really delicious, you guys. So wow. definitely dig in. I know you're going to like this, Cam. So this recipe is in your very first cookbook, Correct. Where Cooking Begins, yeah. right? Tell us about it. So I wanted to write a cookbook that would give beginner cooks a way to just jump in there, not worry about it, not be intimidated, but also had ideas that would make more experienced cooks like excited to get back in the kitchen. Um, and a big part of it for me is shopping first, choosing recipes second. Oh, interesting. So want to okay. flip the script on the yeah. shopping oh. trip. Yeah. Okay. So making what you with what you have. Exactly. The other way Go around. to the store, buy protein, buy your produce, buy the things that actually make you hungry. Order online everything else that you need around you to build a meal. Right. Wow. And it makes it less intimidating. It's true. Wait, and let's take the schlep out of it. Right. I love that. <laughs> I love that idea. So it starts with a really great piece of lamb, our Correct. lamb roast that we're making today. Is there anything we should know about when we're buying this lamb? So what you want to buy is a bone and lamb shoulder, if okay. possible. Um, all of those um, bones are going to give the roast a lot of great flavor. And then the first thing I do is I actually toast some dried spices okay. to go with that. So this in this pan, it's a combination of cumin and fennel seeds, Szechuan peppercorns, which you, you mm -hmm. could totally use black peppercorns, okay. a little chili, and just toasting them. Any mustard them. seed? Ah. No, but you <laughs> could. You absolutely, you absolutely could. And just in a dry skillet, after a minute or two, you'll smell them. It just okay. transforms them and gets all of the aromas of the spices going. So it's going to help them infuse better. Absolutely. Totally it, just bring, it just releases the, the, all of the aromatic compounds right. in the spices. So once that is toasted and cooled, um, just grind them up, spice grinder or mortar and pestle, okay. and that is going to really just dissolve into the meat while it's cooking. Beautiful. So um, first things first, though, a good amount of salt. So this is kosher salt. Yeah, I My, feel like, you know, I feel a lot of people don't like lamb, they say, and I think it's because they've never had it prepared properly. And lamb can take a lot of salt. That's right. You need to put salt on the meat. Absolutely. Yeah. Especially a big cut like this that does have bones. And my rule of thumb is a teaspoon of salt per pound. Okay. So just kind of check the butcher label that comes, you know, that'll have the weight on the sure. on the sticker when you check out. Okay. And make sure you're between six and seven pounds, six or seven teaspoons, get that all over. Okay. Really pack it on. Wow. All right. Really whacking it. There you okay. go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is a spice mix. Again, it looks like a ton, um, but it's important to use all of it and to kind of get it on to your roast on all sides. And the reason being is because this roast is going to go low and slow That's for right. a long time. And you're not just seasoning the outside. At this point, you are. You're just applying it, but you need to apply enough so that it is going to infuse all the way through. Okay, so okay. we would essentially do the other side as Correct. well, but just do for, the other side. Just for sake of time, get it I'm going. Let you go over there. Absolutely, and wash your hands. I've made a huge mess oh, already. Okay. Yeah. That's what you do. Oh. I know what taste I do. Good if I'll you just rinse my hands. I mean, if you don't make it. Incredibly enough. tender, I've got to say. <laughs> yeah. Like it's Thank so, you. Oh, so nice and tender. So, Carla, this goes in the refrigerator for how long? Um, a couple hours, if that's what. You've got overnight is better. Two days even would oh, be right. totally fine. Oh, goodness. Okay. Yeah, the longer it sits, the better. So if you want to roast on Sunday and you shop on Friday, you can just get it going. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. It takes a lot of time when the day of the actual meal comes. That's right. So then we put it in a Dutch oven with only soy sauce and water. Yeah, so this is sort of all the beauty of a braise, but without all of the work of having to saute all those ingredients and deglaze and do wine and the whole thing. Okay. A little bit of liquid. So the soy sauce is adding umami flavor. It's a little more salt. Um, okay. The idea is this is um, a little bit of liquid and steam to get things going. And all that fat from the lamb and the bones Correct. is just gonna fall apart yeah. and make that sauce just so just awesome. amazing. And it's, it's roasting. It's phenomenal. It's also roasting uncovered, so all of that is gonna evaporate mm. and cook Beautiful. down to a really delicious sauce. So this okay. goes in a 325 oven. Correct. For oh, four and a half. <laughs> She's oh, a big boy. Oh, okay, oh, yeah, oh, four oh, and oh, a half oh, or oh, five oh, hours. Oh, wow. There you go. Okay. Look your legs. And, and you can, can lift with your legs is right. It's heavy. <laughs> and you can just see how much it's shrunk back from the bones. The meat 
if you don't, if you have a meat thermometer, check it around 190 is sort of like the sweet spot. That's okay. where everything kind of just dissolves and falls apart. If you don't have a meat thermometer, just go in there with a pair of tongs oh, like this. Pull it apart. And you can see and it's how so the incredibly is. tender that it's pulling apart. But yeah, you have kind of the best of both worlds. You have this awesome spice crust. So we serve this with your beautiful white beans, which yes. you've already cooked, and they're over there. And they're also low and slow. I'm all about the low and slow. <laughs> I like food that cooks while I am napping. That is like <laughs> the secret of life for me. These beans are amazing. Thank you. They're like mashed potatoes. Right. So that. When you cook the beans, they're just, it's water, olive oil, some, some fresh herbs, a little garlic, and salt. Um, and you want that at a very bare simmer. So like a couple of bubbles every few seconds coming up to the surface. Don't stir them a ton. That's what makes them break apart and get mushy. So leave them for like about an hour. An hour, an hour and a half. It will okay. depend on the age of the beans. Okay. Yeah, people don't realize some beans are older than others. But so, yeah. some beans are older than others. There's a joke in there somewhere. Never beans. Carla, never beans. Right, so now, those are low and slow, but this is fast and furious. That's right. So our magic sauce that goes on top of all of this That's right. is very special, and it, there's a there's a special ingredient, that, Secret is, ingredient. that every person has in their home, and that's ice. That's right. Secret <laughs> ingredient is, ice so important? is ice cubes. So this is basically a pesto. The reason that the ice, I'm going to add it once I get these other ingredients in there, it keep, keeps the sauce cold, which helps keep the herbs nice and green. And also, as it blends, it kind of liquefies and um, adjusts to the right texture of the sauce. Okay. So that was a little bit of garlic. We have um, basil dill and parsley. Um, if you had basil, parsley, and chives, you could use that. That's the magic. Okay. Nutritional Capers, yeast. nutritional yeast. This is a little chili, which if you don't Give like it a little spice, kick. leave it out. Again, pinch of salt. Okay, so we're gonna get this All started. Right. A little choppy chop. And there once I can see it's going. There you go. We're gonna add the olive oil. That's there you go. The olive oil goes in. And then the ice cube. And then the ice cubes. Oh, it smells so good, my goodness. And there you go. And you just let that go. I feel like very it's loud and annoying, but yeah. it'll blend. You get the idea. We could put this on just about anything and it would be delicious. That's right, it is magic. So there we have our beautiful sauce. We're gonna plate this up with our Already beans done. and our lamb. And then we're gonna dig in. Yeah. Very cool. Good. This is gonna be All the right. happiest Easter ever. It's absolutely delicious, really. Everything about Thank the you flavors, so much. how tender it is. Well, well done, oh, Deb, you're gonna love it. You'll find this recipe, everybody, at hallmarkchannel.com. And for more great tips from Carla, pick up a copy of her book, which is available now.